Jeremy, let's start with the beginning. Talk a little bit about what prompted you to become alcohol free for three and a half years. Yeah, well, I think the the big thing was the pendulum had swung from what I viewed alcohol as being more of a net positive uh, effect on my life to definitely going down the the road of being a, a net negative. And I have to give credit to my wife through a lot of this. She was the uh, the impetus and and a lot of the encouragement. Um, when I made that that choice uh, for the first time to 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 really give it up, and um, you know my two young boys too, it's like having a family and and having all of that responsibility and needing to be a good example for them and and be the husband and, and father that I needed to be. Um, I think that was the the kick in the pants that finally got me to lock in and and really commit that first time. Um, and like you referred to uh, earlier, that was really me just kind of filling my head with as much knowledge as I could and reading what I could and, um, you know, connecting with, with groups online and kind of reading what had been successful for them and getting encouragement that way. Um, but, but as you said, I, I, I really was on my own. It's not like I had a support group that I was checking in with daily or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, I was able to sustain that for a while. And then, you know, I think as, it's a fairly common story. Thought, well, maybe I can introduce this back into my life and have it be different this time. And unfortunately, it was not. Right. So what I'm hearing you say is you educated yourself. Uh, I understand that you read books like This Naked Mind by Annie Grace. She is the one who actually certified me. So shout out to Annie. <laughs> and was it uh, Quit Alcohol the Easy Way? Yeah. Alan Carr. Alan Carr. Yep. And so, and, and that's cool because I, I did the same thing. Actually, I would listen to all these podcasts and everything and I knew a lot and it, it was helpful. What I lacked was the ability to really, really integrate it and make it part of who I am. Would you say that was a similar experience for you? I know that part of my, my initial journey down this road. We had just moved. So I lived in California for 12 years and we had just moved to Seattle. Um, and that was a big upheaval, leaving, leaving this place that I loved and, um, and, and moving to a new place with my family. Now there was, you know, my wife's side of the family here um, as support, but I, that, that whole move and the stress around it is what really sent me to what I would say was my low point that I then said, okay, I gotta, I gotta do something about this. And, um, and, and, and be better. Um, and so, so yeah, I, I, I was able, I think, to integrate that stuff, let's say 90 to 95% of the way. But as time went on, and I wasn't filling my, I, I wasn't reminding myself of those things, and I was successfully living my life, and things were better than they had ever had, than they ever had been, I started to have the feeling that I'm doing this more for other people then I'm actually doing it for myself. I'm doing this because this is what is expected of me um, versus this is what I actually want to be doing. And which means to me now, the way I see it is I still was obviously assigning some value to alcohol, thinking that it was going to improve my life in some way that adding it back in responsibly uh, would make my life even better. And so, so yeah, I think that Maybe maybe those teachings and those lessons were fully integrated at first, but just little by little, without any accountability or sticking with it, they started to slip away, and the old temptations and desires started to creep back in um, to the point where, you know, it was a very it was a very thoughtful reintroduction into my life. It was something I talked to my wife about. We actually talked to her therapist about the best way to go about it, and um, you know, and it was fine for a few weeks, but then kind of slowly and then all at once I was I was back where I had been and not living the life I wanted to live. 